Hi, how's everybody doing today? This is Rich here on behalf of Rich TV Live, and I'm here with our very special guest, the CEO of Kessel Run Resources, Michael Thompson. How are you doing today, Michael? I'm doing very well. How are you? I'm doing really, really well. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Kessel Run Resources Limited and how you got involved? Sure. Um, so Kessel Run was formed in 2012 on the acquisition of the Bluff Point Gold Project. Uh, the Bluff Point Project is a grassroots project that hosts a very large gold mineralizing system. Uh, I was the geologist who generated the target at Bluff Point and brought it to Kessel Run. I then took on the role of president and CEO shortly afterwards. Um, after doing some initial exploration at Bluff Point, which uh, produced very encouraging results, um, and we still hold that project, the gold market softened in 2013-14, as you know, and we identified an opportunity to make an investment in a gold project held by a private company uh, that held the Golden Gold Project. We invested a million dollars and that turned into a $2 million debenture, which paid us 10% interest. Wow. This allowed us to not have to issue shares during the depths of the bear market in gold. And then in 2016, we acquired the Heronian Gold Project, which hosts a former producing gold mine, the Heronian Mine, as well as a historic non-compliant resource. Uh, Heroni is adjacent to Westone Gold Moss Lake project, which many people probably know about. Uh, it hosts an NI43101 compliant resource of approximately 1.3 million ounces uh, in the indicated category, and then uh, approximately 1.7 million ounces in the inferred category. Um, those rocks that, that host those resources also trend onto the southern half of the Heronian project. Uh, so we have two great fantastic targets in the one in the Heronian mine area and then the second being the, the Southern Moss Lake trend. That's great. We love the projects. Our community really loves what you guys are doing. What are three main focuses right now of Kessel Run Resources Limited? So our main focuses are one, the exploration. You know, the, we have a core team that's made up of proven successful exploration geologists. Um, acquisitions, you know, our focus is acquiring 100% of projects at compelling prices. As an example, Heroni was acquired in 2016 for 4 million shares um, near the, the lows in the gold sector. Uh, and also investments, as I mentioned before, it, you know, investing, making strategic investments, um, whether it's the dollars into the ground in exploration or other opportunities such as the investment in the Golden Project, which led us to, to having a, the share position in first mining after first mining uh, acquired the project. Now, Kessel Run Resources Limited recently announced the drill results from the Heronian Gold Project in the Fisher Zone. Can you please go through the results and tell us what that means for the company? Sure. Um, so the Fisher Zone is one of four known zones on the Heronian project. Um, it's the zone that hosts the most significant amount of known mineralization on the property aside from the, the actual Heronian mine zone. Um, We've reported the first six holes on the pro program with the remainder still pending. Uh, the goal, goal of the program was to get a better understanding of the styles of the gold mineralization and also to help us expand on the known zones and discover new zones. So as an example, hole four, which intersected 42.1 grams per ton gold over 4.9 meters, also included intersections of 7.6 grams gold over 2.3 meters, 6.1, grams per ton gold over 2.8 meters in a big broad zone of 45.1 meters uh, grading 6.2 grams per ton gold. Really a, quite an impressive result. As well, um, we extended the down plunge of that high grade zone to nearly 100 meters with an intersection of 21.8 grams over 0.7 meters and 9.3 grams over 2.2 meters. Um, you know, we couldn't be more pleased with these results and shows that the zone has continuity at depth and our understanding of the zone and how the gold mineralization occurs has increased immensely. Now, it's very important to try to determine who are your major competitors, if any. So in knowing that, who would you say are Kessel Run Resources Limited's main competitors and what sets you apart from them? Well, I don't really think there's that, that many competitors in, in the, the area, at least of the, the area of the Heronian mine. Uh, West Ohm being adjacent to us with, with their Moss Lake project. Um, but in the sector, in the junior sector, to, there's just too many 
juniors to name. I totally understand. It's it's difficult to try to identify competitors when there's hundreds of junior minors. I totally understand. Yeah, and really, I mean, uh, you know, just off the cuff, there's there's not that many players in that neck of the woods. Um, so I'm really, you know, focusing on the junior explorers um, with comparable market caps. There's just so many, and and really, what sets us apart from those are the quality of our assets. You know, we own the, the projects 100%. We have no commitment. Um, you know, we're close to infrastructure. I'm a big fan of, of keeping uh, exploration costs low, development costs in the future low. So that means making sure you're, you're close to infrastructure. Uh, we're in a safe jurisdiction in Ontario, Canada. So, and, and of course, you know, the geological potential of the projects, that is the number one. And we feel that the geological potential is second to none. Um, also, what sets us apart is the tight share structure. You know, we really worked hard to keep a lid on the on highly dilutive share issuances during the market lows. Uh, so we we have a very good share structure. Uh, we have low ge general and administrative costs, and we continue to keep those costs in check, and and further keeping our share structure tight. Let's get into the share structure. So that's one of the key elements for myself and for our community. We love tight floats. We love when insiders have skin in the game. We love when management holds stock and is not selling because it shows us that the company is going to move in the right direction, that there's not a lot of dilution. And those are the types of plays that we love within our community to get into early. So can you tell us a little bit about how much shares are owned by insiders and institutions? Sure. Um, of the the share count is about forty eight million shares. Wow. Currently. Okay. I like that. Uh, Fifty eight million fully diluted with some warrants and options. Uh, management holds just under twenty percent. Institutional shareholders approximately fifteen percent. Wow. So thirty five percent, guys is held by institution and management. And my key metric for tight floats is 50 million or less. Right at 58 million fully diluted is a phenomenally tight float for us. We really like that. So you're right in our wheelhouse as far as share structure. So I commend you on that. You're not diluting the company like a lot of people have to do to try to raise capital. And that's a really good sign. Now, Kessel Run Resources has quite an impressive roster of experts in the mining sector, including yourself. Who are your key members and what do they bring to the table? Sure. Well, as you know, myself, I'm, I'm the president and CEO. Uh, I'm a professional geologist, over 20 years experience in the sector. Um, worked for various companies, including Placer Dome, Tech Resources, and a variety of junior explorers in the past. Um, John DaCosta, who's the CFO, um, he has over 25 years experience in corporate management and compliance and knows a lot about the sector, but financing, share structure really helped us out. Uh, Catelyn Jeffs, uh, she's a director, also a professional geologist with over 15 years experience. She has a really strong background in 3D modeling of ore bodies. That expertise is really going to lend itself to, to the future of, of advancing the Veronium project. Diana uh, Salina. Um, is a director. She's a chartered professional accountant and a certified management accountant. Uh, she also holds CFO positions with other companies. Um, as well, we, we have a high caliber technical team from Flygate Exploration Consulting, works out of Thunder Bay, um, working on executing our exploration programs to the highest caliber. Sounds like a great team. Now, if there was one thing you would want shareholders to know about Kessel Run Resources Limited, what would it be? Well, that's a good question. You know, I really think we're undervalued in comparison to companies with projects of comparable quality. Um, and we just need to correct that discrepancy with the drill bit. And we've got shareholders all over the world that are going to be watching this video and wanting to get in contact with you. What is the best way for a shareholder, an investor, strategic partner, joint venture partner, potentially to get in contact with you, Michael? Sure, they can uh, call me at 1-866-416-7941, email me at information at kesselrunresources.com, go to the website, www.kesselrunresources.com, all the information's on there, our bios, contact info. 
Perfect. Well, thank you so much today for your time today, Michael. We wish, we wish you all the future, uh, all the best of luck in your future endeavors with Kessel Run Resources Limited. Our entire community will be watching very, very carefully as you guys continue to drill and continue to evolve. And thank you for joining us today. Michael Thompson, the CEO of Kessel Run Resources Limited. Thank you very much. Have yourselves a nice day, everybody. Thank you.